Hey all, we're back. Um, like I said in the last tutorial, I was getting these new moulds from Amazon, so they've arrived. So we're going to be trying, again, Luna's feathering. I'll uh, keep it really simple. I've already measured out each cup contains three grams of resin. We're using, again, the Entropy resins. That's a two to one ratio. So I find this is the, the right viscosities for for what I kind of want. So we're going to start, we're using Armour Art pigment pastes again. And we're going to be making our own kind of like alcohol ink using the 99.9% .9 isopropanol. And what I've done Again, I've put that into a smaller needle bottle. Um, again, I'm not going to count the, the alcohol drops because you could be using a, a, a different brand resin. You know, there's lots of different things. You could be using a different pigment paste. Um, so by me giving you a count of, of alcohol could be completely too much or could be wrong. So again, I've got my tester down here. I'm going to um, take you down and show you what the pigments need to do when it hits the resin so we know we're on the right track and then I'll kind of skip the mixing and stuff and we'll get straight onto the dropping so I'm going to start adding my pigments so for each cup I'll I'll do one and then I'll skip the rest but I'll obviously tell you how many pigments I'm putting in there so we're going to start with the pink again these are three grams so we're just going to go for Two, oh, sticking to the side. Two squeezes in there. And we're going to mix this up. Try and get that off the side. And what I'll do is I'll add the alcohol to this one straight away show you the tester and then I'll pause the video mix the others up ready and we'll go from there so what the alcohol does is it keeps the pigments floating on the top of the resin if you don't add enough the pigment will sink if you add too much it will spread too far so I'm just going to pause this and take you down to the tester and show you what it does with zero alcohol Right, so we're zoomed down to the tester, and this is with no alcohol at all. If I drop that in there, you can see it slowly sinking down, and that will that will just hit the bottom, and it won't give us that feathering effect at all. That will just sit, sink, and then touch the bottom, which will obviously be the front when we demold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video again, add some alcohol and show you the reaction that we need to be able to continue. Right, we're back. You see that ring that's formed in the centre and then it kind of reforms itself. You see that first one, how that's really sunk down. I'll just show you again. You add the drop and you'll see in the centre No, nope, that one's not doing it now. I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol. And now you'll see. See how that focus is going. Come on. Right, so you see, you can see how that first one, let me try and focus you in again. My phone keeps going. See how that first one's completely sunk to the bottom. That's not what we want. So we want this effect. Soon as it touches the resin, you'll get 
like a ring forming in the center you see that and then it will reform itself that's what we want that's telling us that the pigments are light enough to stay at the surface and give us the effect that we need so what I'm going to do now I have this one mixed up I'm going to mix up my other colors and tell you exactly what I've done so I'll be back in a sec right we're all mixed up so what I've done in each one of these is two drops of color this one I've mixed the pink with the blue to get a purple uh, two drops of green one drop of black because it's quite strong and then I've added one small drop if you saw my last tutorial I added one small drop of white to the colors but I haven't added it to the black because um, I've never used the black before so we're going to try and use that as a kind of background to try and bring these out um, and give them a bit more vibrancy so once you've added your white you will have to add just a few more drops of alcohol mix it in and test it in your tester again but what you can see here you need to be very careful with the white you can see those white spots of pigment floating on the surface and if you don't get rid of those what's going to happen is that's going to sink and you're going to get kisses kisses of, of white on the other side so you really kind of need to mix these when you've added the, the white really what I find helps is once you've added the white add a drop of alcohol on top of the pigment so that will disperse the white across the rest of the color and then just let them sit um, for a minute but you will have to keep adding more alcohol as you go because what will happen is the alcohol will evaporate so you kind of just need to add as you go keep your tester going and just make sure that it's right and ready to go right so we're going to take you to the mold thanks again I think we've gained well a thousand subs since the last tutorial a couple of weeks ago so thanks everyone for your support thanks for the sponsors right shall we start dropping if you haven't subbed again down in this corner down here hit that tab button and you can sub right so we're going to start dropping into the molds you can see it spreading maybe a little too much with that one I think I put a little bit too much alcohol in but we'll see what happens still reforming which is good what we don't want is just a ring left with kind of no color to it I was going to use my pipettes again but I'm just going to randomly drop just see what they come out like I'm not going to be tidy not dropping in any way just dropping that pink is really spreading see that yellow is perfect gonna be really messy do for the yellow I think go for the purple again that's spreading really quick right we'll see what they turn out like it's the fun of playing about Do 
it's literally just dropping this anywhere. Right, let's go for some green. I'm only going to add the green to maybe three of them just to see what they come out like without. And then the other one, sorry, I'm waffling away to myself. Just going to add green to three of them and then the other three I'm going to use black. Just because I think there could be too much going on. Like I said with the black there's no white in this and I'm going to add, I've just put a little bit in the tester and it's not doing what I want it to so I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol and then we're just going to go in the negative space ideally And all over the mould. Let's make a mess. Why not? We've already made some mess. Oh, that, that's the one I added the green in. Daniel. Do you know what? Let's just see with this one. Whether it's too much when it gets demoulded. Or whether it actually turns out okay. Again, it's the fun of playing. So we've got some negative space in these. could drop some more in I suppose and then again I need to save some of these for another project that I'm working on at the moment so I'm gonna leave these with a negative space and we're gonna see what happens um, yeah right so we're gonna leave these I think last time it took a good few hours three to four hours I think it was um, so that I had the right consistency to do the stir but what you can see already which is another good sign you see that lacing effect that we're getting that's always a good sign we know the inks are doing what they need to do so I'm gonna leave it there come back we'll add the swells I'll see you soon right we're back we're gonna stir things up um, like I said, these are new moulds. Um, I'm going to put the link for these. They come in a set of three. I can't remember the exact price now, but they're not too bad. But I'll put the link in the description um, along with anything else that I've used. So we're just going to start stirring away. Um, as you can see, these the negative space is kind of gone now. So the inks have spread out, um, which is pretty cool. So we're going to just start stirring away. Let me try and take you down a little bit further so you can kind of see what's going on. And we're just going to go anyway. Sticky, that's the sticky consistency that we need. Maybe that one. These are the, the ones that we added the black. Just going to stir. Just like that. Okay, for this one, see the black's kind of taken over in here. So I'm going to try and draw the colour through the black. But I'm not too sure how they're going to turn out. That's definitely taken over in that one for sure. It could be really cool. It could just be completely taken over by the black right, with this one we're going to start in the center and then just go around like that and this one we'll just go all over the place 
and hopefully we get some really good results with this. I wanted to leave, leave the resin just to thicken a little bit more this time. Um, just to see if it draws that feathering a lot better than it did in my last tutorial. What's that? And sometimes when you get this thickness with the resin, when it when that kind of dimples in and settles down, it can actually give a really cool effect on the other side. It almost looks like a bucket's been kicked over and paint spilling out or it's being sucked in by some kind of tornado. But we'll show you, well, hopefully we'll get some cool effects. Now we've just got the test piece. We already know we're gonna have the, the, the original drop that I can see it just through there. You can see at the bottom there it's kissed. But we're gonna we're gonna stir it up anyway. This one isn't as thick as those because I've had those curing on the heat mat to speed things up. So this is less less cured than the others. But we'll see what happens. Right again, if you haven't subbed, just down there, hit that sub button for me and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a tutorial. And yeah. I'm gonna quickly give these a tiny tap blast with a torch, hold on. So what you can get once stirring is you can get just some bubbles on the surface. So using my little blow torch, probably seen it before. Inside it's just got a disposable refillable lighter. Really cool, just clicks in. You can see a bubble just there. Don't wanna go too crazy. And damage your mould. I just tend to tap the last mine. I see ya, got ya. Right, I'm gonna carry on doing this and we'll be back for the demold. See you soon. Right, we're back for the demold. The really exciting part. I missed a couple of bubbles, I think. But we're gonna start with these two. Still a little bit flexible, but nothing too bad. Oh, wow. That is really cool. No kisses to the front. Maybe one tiny one in that bottom. I'm not sure if that's actually touching though. Oh wow, that's really cool. See some depth there. Wonder how the black ones have turned out. Oh wow. Much better than what I thought they would be. I'm gonna save that one till last because we didn't, we didn't know whether I made a mistake didn't I so don't know whether it's going to be too much going on in that one see some really good just there just had to pause the video because when I took this one out my thumb stuck to a section of it so what I think happened, it was green, so what I think had happened is when I was mixing my pigments, I'd splashed a bit inside the mould and it kind of stuck on the surface, so I just cleaned it off with a bit of alcohol, I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit afterwards, but that was the one that I've just demoulded. Hopefully I haven't done that again, so leave that one. It's really cool. See that bubble there? Kind of looks like an eye. See it? It's like an eye on a big bird with its feathering. Let's see that. I get some. I get some really good photos with these, and I um, upload them on my Insta. Two to go. Well, 
I like how the black has kind of broken it apart a little bit. I was not expecting these. Right, what's this one going to be like? Do I do the teasing reveal? Nah, we just flip. Oh, there's a sticky bit down there again as well. I think I've mixed my, um, must have dripped in before I poured in. We'll clean that up in a moment. That's not too bad. It's not too busy. A couple more bubbles still, but I'm fine with that. Right, again, if you haven't subbed, hit that button. And I'll, um, I'll see you all soon for the next one. Bye for now. Did it again, I completely forgot the test piece from yesterday, so I was just going through the editing and then completely forgot, or well, remembered. So we'll see if we got that kiss that I said that we were gonna get from that sinking, which we know we will. And there you have it, a big blob. What? Right. that is definitely the end now. See you soon.